So what are we going to do to fix the existing air pollution that we have uh, out there? So, you know, the first thing that anybody ever does is pass laws, right? So the, the major law of this is the Clean Air Act of 1970. Um, it was amended in 77 and in 1990, and it allowed the EPA to place restrictions on um, the six outdoor air pollutants um, of carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, uh, particulate matter, ozone, and lead. So the EPA, um, the EPA regulates this now under the Clean Air Act. Um, there's been some success in the United States. Um, we've seen a decrease in emissions. We've moved to the low sulfur highway diesel um, instead of the um, instead of the uh, uh, high content sulfur. Um, we have moved to this clean coal burning too, um, which is you know, kind of a misnomer, really. It's not really clean. It's cleaner, but um, but we have decreased our uh, emissions of air pollutants. Um, but the problem is the EPA is does not govern anywhere outside the United States, and a lot of less developed countries don't have the luxury of being able to spend the money on um, on cleaning their stuff up, and so they they have different challenges with reducing their air pollution. They're trying to get up to speed um, to where we are and, and we can afford um, to spend money on cleaning it up where they can't. Um, another thing that you, that you might see um, is a, a cap and trade program. So it works something like this. <clears throat> if I'm a manufacturer uh, of a good and I release a pollutant into the atmosphere, and you're a manufacturer of a good, and you release that same pollutant in the atmosphere. But I release more of it than you do. You and I can kind of combine and, and, and trade uh, emissions um, uh, emissions limits because the EPA doesn't care. Let's say that they set the standard for 50 parts per million each. So if I can release up to 50 parts per million of whatever pollutant and you can release up to 50 parts per million, that's 100. What difference does it make if I release 70 and you release 30? It's still 100. And so we can combine and, and cap and trade. And um, that's okay. It's it's fine. But... Um, what, what the government tends to do uh, or the regulators tend to do is set a limit and then lower it every so often um, so we can continue to strive to, to clean up our emissions. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's, it works okay. It's just it's not a permanent solution. Catalytic converters. All, all uh, cars have to have catalytic converters. That are manufactured today. What happens in a catalytic converter is uh, there's metal catalysts in there that convert um, things like nitrogen oxides and carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide and water and nitrogen, um, which uh, helps to reduce the amount of primary air pollutants from cars. Um, and uh, in, in places like Gwinnett County uh, and DeKalb County, they have emissions inspections. So you cannot get your tag renewed unless you go to a place every year and pass your emissions inspection. Jackson County does not have uh, emissions because we just don't have enough people to make it worth doing. Um, but... Uh, but Gwinnett County does. And if you have a car that does not have a catalytic converter or something's wrong with the exhaust, um, you're not allowed to go renew your car tag and title. 
So you'll be driving illegally without a tag. This is called a wet scrubber. Um, these are installed on top of smokestacks from factories. Um, the exhaust gas comes through this pipe and water is poured in here and sprayed. And that water clings to the heavy particulates in the um, exhaust and they drop out and go down this pipe to dirty water. The rest of the air comes up through another filter and out the smokestack here, um, cleaner than it was when it entered. Um, and these are very, very expensive. Um, they're also very, very effective. Um, but you've got to clean them out every so often, once a month or so. You've got to replace the filters. And you're almost kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul. What you're cleaning out of the environment in gaseous form, you are putting back into the environment in water form. So you're going to have to clean this water as well. So, you know, what do you want to do? Pollute the water or pollute the air? All right. Um, we'll make a stop here and make a new video about the um, health effects.